headline or the big line news, and that is the Cincinnati Bengals flexing on the NFL, saying, look at us, look at us, as they beat down the Pittsburgh Steelers. Combs, are the tides turning in the NFC or the AFC North? Are the Cincinnati Bengals the best team in the North? Uh, or are the Pittsburgh Steelers what we thought they were? A 10 and, ten and seven, 7 playoff bound team? They, they, they're they 1 and 2. Yeah. Um, and, you know, they're uh, a, a Buffalo Bills not coming to play week one away from being 0 and 3. Ooh, good point. And I had them at 5 and, and, and 12 this year, or 6 and 11, somewhere in, the, in that ballpark. The Pittsburgh Steelers aren't a very good team. And the Bengals. We thought they were going to be better this year. I had them being better this year. I had the Cincinnati Bengals being eight and nine this year. I had them beating the Pittsburgh Steelers this week. It's no surprise to me that they beat the Pittsburgh Steelers. I think it's more of a shock that they lost to the Bears last week. <laughs> you know, right. but, but they get Jacksonville this week. Okay. And they're going to be three and one. And then they got to play Green Bay after that. That's going to be the test. That's going to be the test that will tell you where Green Bay stands. Or, I'm sorry, where Cincinnati stands. If they can compete, if they can play up with Green Bay, then I, I might believe in them. You know what I mean? They're a lot like like the Denver Broncos right now. The right. Denver Broncos are a team where they're 3-0. and And they, they did what they were supposed to do. They beat the team they were supposed to beat. But I want to see how they play against the good teams. And that's what we're going to see here in a couple weeks for Cincinnati. We're going to see what Cincinnati can do against the Green Bay Packers, who are a very good team. We're going to get to see what they do against the Baltimore Ravens twice. You know, we're going to get to see what they do against the Cleveland Browns twice. They've got the Raiders on the schedule, the Niners on the schedule, the Chargers on the schedule, the Chiefs on the schedule. Not They've got a schedule. tough schedule. Yeah. No. So we're going to see whether or not the Bengals are for real really, really quick. Yeah. So, and sorry. I'm not sure they are. So – Few things that I do be be for the show is like obviously like we prep and one things that I like I look for the title of the show and then I go and search stuff on YouTube on Google and I read and I listen to stuff etc. Et this is coming from a Cincinnati Bengals podcast. Yeah, a, a Cincinnati Bengals podcast. That's all, that's all I do is a root for the Cincinnati Bengals one one hundred percent. You know what they, they said? They have a whole podcast. They that? have a whole podcast, Combs. And you know oh, what? God. You know what they said? They said this team is all smoke and mirrors. And if it wasn't for some fluke plays, they 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 would be zero and three right Ooh. now. This is coming from a Cincinnati fan base you know, that talks nothing but Cincinnati How football. Did... I'm like, come on, fluke <laughs> plays though. Joe Burrow is. Pretty damn good, guys. Let's just be honest. He coming back from a horrific knee injury after getting battered last season. The Bengals did nothing in the draft to to protect his ass besides drafting a wide receiver, and somehow their old line got better. Their receiving yeah. core got better. Mixon is showing that he is a solid running back now. Guys, the Cincinnati Bengals... If if I'm playing the stock market combs, I am buying them, buying them, and buying them because not yeah. maybe not this year, but next year combs, they might be a team that you don't want to mess with. This when 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 we talk about the best of the worst teams, yes, the Lions might be there as well, but the Cincinnati Bengals might be the best of the worst teams. This is going to be your best three and fifteen or three and fourteen team. That you have ever seen, they they, they could they could have a record number of four of three to four point uh, games yeah. where they lose just because Look, you know they aren't quite there yet. They, they they don't know how to quote know how to win. I I don't think that they're going to be world beaters. I don't think they're going to win the North. I don't think they're going to win ten games, eleven games, twelve games, anything like that. But I don't think they're smoke and mirrors. I think they're a young team that's just getting better as they go. You look at week one against the Minnesota Vikings. Joe Burrow was 20 of 27, 261 yards, two touchdowns. Joe Mixon carried the ball 29 times for 127 yards. Jamar Chase had 100 yards receiving. And they won that game 27 to 24 against the Vikings in overtime. Then, yes, they lose to the Bears last week, which just was an aberration. Which, Joe which they lost to still... a great quarterback in Andy Dalton. It, uh, Justin Fields, Andy Dalton. 
was out after the first quarter. Still playing. Um, so Joe Burrow, Joe Burrow was still 19 of 30, still threw for two touchdowns. He just had that that blip where he threw like three straight picks on three straight passes. Yeah. That Bears defense is is pretty damn good. And then you get into week three where they play against the Steelers, and Joe Burrow's 14 of 18, three touchdowns. Joe Mixon has 90 yards rush. Like this isn't just, you know, a couple of fluke plays. These are put together plays. They they've got a game plan and they're executing their game plan. They're doing the things that they need to do to not lose. If Joe Burrow doesn't throw those three interceptions in a row against the Bears, they're probably three and oh. Yeah. And, and so well, I just I, I 